What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy KD. Let's get right into the video, man. So today, all right, we're gonna talk about the ladies today. All right, fellas, let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna help you guys on how to get a woman to be more feminine. All right, how to get a woman to be more feminine. Now, as you guys know, you know, nowadays it's 2024. And uh, there's a lot of women out there, man, that are very, uh, I would like to say, masculine. All right, very masculine women. And this is something that's actually on the uprise right now. And uh, it is for several reasons. Several reasons. Some of them that you guys can't control. And I'm going to talk about that today. And some of them you can't control. You know, some of it is influenced by social media, propaganda, and stuff like that. But, uh, fellas, if you think you don't have an influence in making a woman be more feminine with you, trust me, you do. All right. And I'm going to explain a few of these ways and strategies that you can get your girl or whatever girl you're interested in to be more feminine, especially around you. All right. Now, you guys know I don't like to blame women for, you know, problems and situations. Yes, women do have to take accountability and responsibility for their own actions. But as men, like I said, we are the leaders. So we're a big influence on how women act. I always say this, man, your woman or whatever woman you are dealing with intimately, she is a reflection of you. So if you're a weak man, you're going to see that in her. Like she's not going to be weak as a woman, but you're going to see the reflection of her from you. All right. So let's get right into it. So the first way that you can get a woman to be more feminine is you have to be masculine. All right. There's a dynamic when it comes to relationships, whether it's a man or a woman a woman and a woman, a man and a man, which <laughs> we ain't really going to discuss that. But when you're in a female and male dynamic, when it comes to a relationship, there has to be roles. OK, when it comes to masculinity and femininity. All right. Somebody has to play the masculine role or the masculine dynamic and somebody has to play the feminine. So I always like to say, man, masculine men are attracted to feminine women and vice versa. So when you uh, when you're dealing with a very feminine women woman, you have to understand that this woman is going to expect expect you to be very masculine. The most feminine women that I've met, they only settle for masculine men, real masculine men. So if you guys are wondering why a woman is being really masculine around you, like she used to be feminine and now she's really masculine, like she flipped, you know, she flipped the script on you and you can't figure it out. You confused, you know, you think she playing games or she just turned masculine out of the blue one day. It's probably because you're lacking masculinity in your actions and your aura. OK, there's a thing called masculine frame. And I'm sure you guys have heard this. Um, my inspiration, one of my uh, guys that I look up to when it comes to this YouTube thing, AMS, Alpha Male Strategies, he talks about this a lot. And that's masculine frame. And basically what your masculine frame is, is basically how you hold yourself and how you present yourself and how you move around not just women, but just period. All right. When you're around a woman, and especially if you want her to be more feminine and submissive around you, you have to hold your masculine frame. All right. For example, you know, like, you know, I'm always I always say, like, you got to be fun when you with women. You got to provide them an experience, a fun experience, because girls just want to have fun. You know, I know y'all heard the song. Girls just want to have fun. And that's 100 percent true. All right. You got to give a woman an experience. But at the same time, when you're being fun and you're being playful with a woman, you can't be too silly, guys. You know, some guys they are real, real goofy and real silly around women. And as much as she may seem like she's having fun, as much as she may seem like she liked this, it's going to eventually kind of turn her off because she's looking for you to kind of be a little hard. All right. As a man, now, I know some guys, you know, they don't agree with this because they, you know, they 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 don't understand the concept of being a real man like men like we want like soft, silly you know, passive, goofy women. That that turns us on, at least masculine men. It turns me on. I like, I like a woman who's real soft, who's real feminine, you know, like she's in her elegancy. So with that, you have to be the opposite, all right? Women, feminine women are attracted to their polar opposite and masculine men are attracted to their polar opposite. Like, just think about when you see a real feminine woman, 
real elegant, beautiful, soft, feminine women. Like, the shit just turns you on. You're like, God, man, that woman's gorgeous. And just think about when you see a masculine woman, it kind of turns you off. So it's the same thing with women. Like, women like when men are firm. Now, I'm not saying you got to be boring. Like I always say, you don't have to be the Terminator. But you have to hold your masculine frame. Don't be giggling and laughing too much. Yeah, have fun. Crack a smile every now and then, man. You ain't got to be just cold. But don't be too silly around women. All right? Don't be too playful because that's when, you know, women start to test you. Because what they're doing is they're seeing you kind of like not being masculine so they start to test you and that's my other thing about uh, how to get a woman to be feminine is you have to pass her shit test women are going to test you guys women just don't have attitudes for no reason most times sometimes they do because they go through their emotions but most times women are having attitudes and acting snappy or moody or just straight up sometimes just bitchy because they just want to see if you can handle their ups and their downs. There's a book, I always recommend this book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dita. And what David Dita talks about in his book is how a woman will test you um, just to see if you can handle her. Because if you can handle her, that means you can handle the tests and the trials from the world. Because just like women, the world is gonna test you. When you're pursuing a woman and you feel like she's testing you and she's trying you, what she's doing is she's trying to see what makes you tick. She's trying to see if you're going to get in your emotions. She's trying to see if you're going to get out of your element just by these tests because the world is going to do the same to you. So if she can trust you with her emotions and if she that means she can trust you with the world, that means you can conquer the world. That's what just her her biology does, man. Like, you can't get around this. Like, I see too many guys trying to change women. You can't get around this. All women are like this. Some women are going to test you more than others. But the more masculine you are, the less frequent you're going to get these tests. You're going to get the shit test, fellas. It's inevitable. The most feminine women in the world will still test you. And actually, the most feminine women in the world will test you more, especially at the beginning. Now, when you make her comfortable and you prove to her that you're a masculine man and you can handle these tests, the tests kind of are less frequent over time because you, you made her comfortable and secure. But don't don't think they're going to go away. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on the swivel because the tests are going to come back. OK, so the first two ways you can get a woman to be more feminine with you is one, you have to be more masculine. Hold your masculine frame. And two, you have to pass shit tests. All right, you have to pass these tests because when if when you fail these tests consistently, they're not going to stop. She's just going to test you more and then she's going to test you to the point where you just going to get tired of her and you going you just going to leave her cuz you can't handle the test. All right? Like it, it it is just what it is. You know, I give you an example of a test. You know, you come in the house one day, you know, and she's complaining about the trash. You ain't take the trash out in the past 2 days. And instead of you being masculine and, you know, you grabbing her, you know, and, and hugging her or spinning her around and, you know, grab her waist, pull her close to you. And, you know, you tell her, I'm, I'm going to take something else out tonight after I take this trash out. She would like that way more than if you say, well, I was tired. You know, I was busy. I forgot to take it out. I always take it out. Why are you tripping today? You know what I'm saying? Like. Your the world, just like your woman is going to test you and women innately subconsciously know that they don't even know that they know it. They just know it. So if you can't pass her test, what that tells her is you can't pass the tests and the trials of the world. And then ultimately, she's not going to trust you. Then you're going to find her accusing you of cheating when you know you both know you're not cheating. It's just going to happen. That's how women work. Like Women are very complicated, but once you figure it out. Your success with women is going to be a lot better and then you're going to attract feminine women, women, you know, like feminine women just don't come out the blue. Like I think any woman as masculine as any woman is, if you're doing it right, you can make her very feminine. You just got to do it right. Of course, you got to find a woman that you're attracted to and the energy is good between you guys and you vibe with. But the more masculine you are, the more you can pass these tests, the more feminine she'll be. All right. All right, next one. Next way you can get a woman to be more feminine is don't be too needy, guys. All right, do not be needy. Like, don't, like, 
It's okay to want to be around your girl. And it's okay to talk to her. And it's okay to interact with her and have fun with her and want to be around her. And it's okay to tell her you want to be around her. Like, if you want to see her or if you miss her, bro, let her know. Hey, girl, I've been thinking about you. And I want to see you. You know, like, when women will love that. But if you're too needy, like, if you just can't have time to yourself or you can't give her space, she's, she's not going to be as feminine as you would like to be around her. Like, women... Women like their space, all right? You got to give a woman time to, like, like be in her own aura so she can kind of recharge, all right? So you don't want to be up under your girl so much because that's when she starts to be masculine. And that's when she starts to get irritable because just like you, I'm sure you want your space sometimes too because when you hang around your woman too much, you start to get these feminine qualities like bro trust me it happens so you need time where you need to go off and hang with your homeboys do some masculine stuff go hit the weights go play ball go do men stuff and give her time to go do feminine stuff so when y'all come back together both of you guys are in y'all aura okay and this is mostly for guys who are in relationships or who want to be in relationships. For all my true red pill guys, this ain't for y'all. You know, y'all pumping and dumping, so <laughs> y'all ain't really got any concern with stuff like this. But for my purple pill guys, like myself, who want relationships and who want to be in relationships and, and or you're in a relationship, this is for you. So you got to give your woman space. Don't be too needy. Like, don't be texting her all day, you know, calling her all day, checking up on her, always trying to figure out where she is, always trying to figure out what she doing. You know, like, of course, it's your job to protect her. So you want to know her whereabouts most times. But don't be needy. There's a difference for being a protector and you caring than being needy. All right. And I'm sure you guys, you know, understand that pretty well. So I'm not going to speak too much more about that. All right. Let's get into the next one. So the next one is, if you want a woman to be more feminine around you, you have to be decisive and you have to be direct. All right. I call this the double D. <laughs> decisive and direct, guys. All right. You have to be. So I give you an example. And we all know this example. So most of you guys can relate to this. You ever been with your girl and uh, y'all riding around and you ask her what you want to eat? Hey, babe, what you want to eat today? And she, what, she, what, what most women say when you ask them what they want to eat? I don't know, of course. And sometimes they already know. You know, they they just say, I don't know. And I think, from my experience, the reason why they say, I don't know, is because they want you to make the decision. And then they might say, I don't know what you want to eat. And then y'all get into, like, this back and forth thing about what y'all what y'all should eat. Bruh, I'm going to give you a tip. Make up something. You need to be decisive, okay? Deci I don't care if you don't know what to do. Pick something. You're going to turn a woman on way more when you're decisive with what you want. Indecisive men do not have success with women. Women want to feel secure around you. So if you guys are about to go out, you know, and she asks you, hey, what are we doing tonight? Come up with a plan or already have a plan worked out. Because if you don't know and you're just trying to figure it out and you can't pick between option A, B, and C, and you take it for everything, you ask her what she think or what she want. Women, like when women are around you guys, they just want to not think. Women don't want to think around men. Like they do enough thinking by themselves. This is what women expect, guys. And I know you guys may think this is unreasonable and you may not think it's fair, but it's the truth of the matter. You cannot change how the world works. Women do not want to think when they're around men. They just don't. I don't care how independent, how masculine, and how smart and intelligent your girl is when she's around you guys she wants to relax turn her brain off and just be there you grab the wheel and you direct the ship that's what a woman wants that's what women really desire some women may tell you different but you guys know women it's not that they don't know what they want like i said before women think with their emotions so when a woman ever tells you when she's with a man, she wants to make the decision, she is saying that right now. But when she actually gets with the man, she wants a decisive man. Now, I'm not saying her opinion doesn't matter. And sometimes you shouldn't ask, you know, because she's a human being. But most times she wants you to make the decision. So when it comes to like where you guys are going to live, where y'all going to go out on a date, 
Wait, like, like about this date stuff. Never ask a woman what she wants to do for a date. Never, ever. I know you want to sound considerate. I know you want to sound like you want to be fair and you want to consider her wants and her needs. Women will rather you pick the date, set the time, pick the location, and it be a boring, uninteresting, whack spot. Then you have to ask her what she want to do and where she want to go. Trust me, guys. I've been there. I've done that. All right. And if y'all get there and it's boring, go somewhere else. At least now you know. But she will be way more turned on, way more feminine with you if you be decisive. Now, the other part of the double D is you being direct. All right. When you're talking to a woman, all right, and you like, let's say you like she sent you a picture. She texts you a picture of herself and she in the mirror. She got on lingerie or, you know, she looking good and she sent you a picture. If you have something to say, if that if that shit turns you on and, and you got something to say, like sexual, say it. The worst thing that's going to happen is she going to be like, oh, my God, you so, you know, and, and then but still follow up with it. Mean what you say. Be direct. Too many guys beat around the bush because they think they're going to offend women. Trust me, bro. Just just say what you got to say. You know, like I've gotten some very feminine women just by being direct. You know, this is going to be kind of extreme, but I'm going to give you an example. I remember when I used to date, when I was dating, you know, I DM this girl one day. Like she posted some like pic on her story. She was in the gym. Y'all know the little booty poses the girl be girls be doing when they like turn to the side and they like they leg be cocked back. They look like a flamingo or something. You know, I, <laughs> I sent her a DM and I was like, man, and it's going to be a little explicit. So I'm not going to actually curse. But I was like, man, I'll out you, man. You know, and I, I, I just DM to that. Like I just felt it. I, I was like, I'm going to send it. You know, I was like, man, I'll out you. You know, y'all know what I'm what I'm saying, you know, and she was like she sent me back a DM was like, wow, you know, and then I was like, oh, shit, I, I messed up. I shouldn't have sent that. But like five seconds later and she was like, I'll out you, too. I was just like, all right, let's get let's get it. You know, like women love that. Now, there are going to be some women who like it's not going to work with. And that's probably the woman, I mean, it, it happens, bro. But more times than not, you got a better chance. And, and I, that's just a little example. But you got a better chance at getting a woman when you're direct. Like, women like men with confidence. So even if she don't like what you said, she will respect you more. And more times than not, you'll turn her on more if you're just direct with what you want and direct with what you... Like, if you want her, if you want to take her out on a date or you want to have sex with her, tell her. You know, like do it at the right time. Like don't like just be texting her like for five minutes and you just come out and say, I want to sleep with you. I mean, don't do that, bro. That's just stupid. You know, get the get the know the girl a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But be direct. All right. You guys get what I'm saying? Be direct. Don't beat around the bush. You know, yo, if your girl walk in the house and she looking good, tell her how good she look and tell her what you want to do to her. It's going to turn her on. I guarantee you, but you guys are too scared because you think you, you're being too forward or you're being too sexual or you're being too obscene. Be direct with women. That's going to bring the femininity out of them because being direct and being decisive, that's a masculine trait. Women are not usually decisive. They're very indecisive. Women are not usually direct. Women will say something like, you ever like been in a gym? And like a woman, she's very interesting and attracted to you, but she won't come talk to you. She'll just like keep walking by you, keep walking past you. She'll probably come up and ask you where the dumbbells at and the dumbbells right there. I've had this happen many times. Women are not direct most times. They want you to be direct. They want you to come approach. They want you to come and say, hey, beautiful, how you doing? I just wanted to let you know I couldn't leave the gym. I feel bad if I didn't tell you you was beautiful. How you doing? I'm KD. What's your name? They like that. But when you beating around the bush and, you know, you just looking at them in the gym when you know when they know and you know you want to talk to them, fellas, that, that turns them off. Like she could be uh, like way attracted to you. Like I'm talking about just like love how you look. But when you're not direct, it lowers her attraction level for you guys. So be direct with women. Remember this, guys. Double D's. <laughs> Decisive and direct. All right. Y'all remember that. I'm going to trademark that one day, actually. All right. And the last thing that you can do, there's many more, but these are my top, my top like five or six. And the last thing you can do 
to get a woman to be more feminine around you is you have to it's, it's about fitness you gotta build a physique okay i'm gonna just keep it be, be straight up look like a man all right look like a man i know there's some guys that that's gonna say muscles don't matter you know how big you are doesn't matter to an extent it really does you know because most women are small you know most women are small you know they got smaller bodies than men you know most men are taller or bigger than women like women love a big masculine man you know like women love beasts some women you know they they like little small dudes i i, I don't deal with those type of women like when i see women and they like with some you know strawny ass dude who just little as hell i'm like what Ugh, like you like that you know what i'm saying like no no offense to nobody but i i just i just think it's weird to me you know like like women they love big men because it makes them feel safe you know like when you got a woman and she got more muscles than you bro i'm gonna be honest it's gonna be real hard for her to be feminine around you because she doesn't look up to you like women want to look up to a man I, i'm not saying you got to be taller than her all the time i've seen some men some very masculine men that's been with very feminine women, women who are taller than them. Like y'all ever seen Jason Statham and his girl? Jason Statham woman like six two, and Jason Statham like five nine. But you can tell they have that masculine feminine dynamic between the both of them. You know, so sometimes it's different. You know, but most times women want a man who who is strong, who's big. You know, who who when she gets around him, she feels small. Like women want to feel small around you. It's the, it's the truth, guys. Like, they want to feel, because it makes them feel protected. You know, when you wrap your arms around a woman, she's like, she just melts, you know? Like, she just melts. She wants to feel protected with you. So when you're big, you got muscles, you're strong, that's one of the reasons why I tell you guys, get in the gym, fellas. Get in the gym, bro. I'm telling you, bro, your success rate with women is going to massively increase when you build a physique. Don't run from this, guys. Don't be one of those guys who say, oh, it don't matter and muscles don't matter, you know, and all this stupid stuff. It's all about personality. And hey, come on, bro. Personality is great. But when you look good, bro, you ain't even got to look good. I see some big, ugly, like country looking, uneven beard, like just nasty teeth, just big werewolf looking dudes with beautiful feminine women. And I bet you she's just laying in bed feeling safe with this big old bear. You know, like, it is what it is. Like, women love big dudes. Like, they love when you got some size on you because it makes them feel safe on that physical level. Now, there's other, other ways, like I said before, that you have to make them feel safe. You know, like, emotionally, financially, spiritually, and all this stuff. But when it comes to the physical aspect, we're humans, okay? Like we, we, the physical has a big deal, is a big deal when it comes to relationships and intimacy. So when you big and you strong and like, you know, you can pick your girl up, you know, when y'all, y'all, y'all in the bedroom, like that's, women love that, bro. You want a girl to submit to you, pick her up in the bedroom. I'm telling you, G, I'm, I'm telling you, but she ain't gonna never forget that moment because most dudes can't do that. All right, fellas, so get in the gym, bro. Get in the gym. I have so many reasons why you guys need to get in the gym, bro. It's amazing. It, it just makes your life 10 times better, bro. Trust me on this, all right? So, like I said, if you guys want your woman to be more feminine around you, follow these rules. Go play the video back if you missed anything, all right, guys? So, I appreciate you guys for watching the video today. It's your boy, KD. Uh, Y'all know I do a video every single day. Um... I've been thinking about doing two videos a day because, man, I just got so many experiences, man. So much stuff to talk about and give you guys. Um, I'm kind of contemplating on the two videos a day. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it up with one video a day, man. I appreciate all you guys' support. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all my new subscribers, all the support, man. Thank you, guys. Keep it up. And y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Keep Stay on your journey. Be a top-tier man. Don't get distracted. Stay in the gym. Keep working hard. Keep making money. Keep networking. Keep putting yourself out there. Um, because, man, if you stay on this grind, bro, one day you're going to be ahead of 99% of men. And you're going to look back and you're going to be like, man, thank God I did what I did. You know, because life is beautiful at the top. All right, fellas? So it's your boy, KD. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I appreciate you guys. We out of here, baby.